Hi, this is CC New Grammar uh, Cycle 2, week 23. We are almost done, guys. That's crazy. Okay, so let's start with history. Tell me about the Gulf War. We just did actions along with the song. So in 1990, President Bush, there's your B, and laid over your heart for patriotic, um, sent troops to the Persian Gulf, there's your P, to expel Iraqi leader Saddam Hussein, there's his mustache, from Kuwait, oh wait, it goes Kuwait because you're telling them to wait, Kuwait during the Gulf War, okay? That was history. Science um, found this off of YouTube user Huntfish and she's using um, the song, It's Feeling Hot, Hot, Hot. I added shakers to it, so just the little Easter eggs with the rice inside of it. So you're going, it's feeling hot, hot, hot. How does heat, heat flow? Radiation, oh, conduction, oh, convection, oh. And then just repeat it. So that's science. Uh, English, we have, I brought out my little puppet today and he was helping me say our English. If you don't have a puppet like this, go find an old sock at your house and make one up with a Sharpie marker. If you have some googly eyes, just glue some googly eyes to him. Um, do it in silly voices. So an adjective modifies a noun or pronoun by describing, qualifying, or limiting and answers the question, what kind, how many, which, and whose. Again, not everybody has a cool puppet like this, so you can always use a sock and make him really cool too. So that was English, and we just changed the voices for every kid that came up. Uh, math, this was the funnest. I found this from YouTube user, Arm, uh, it's a Shelly Norman, and it's an army cadence for the distributive loss. So, I don't know, but I've been told. I don't know, but I've been told. Distributive law is good to know. The distributive law is good to know. A times open parenthesis. A times open parenthesis. B plus C close in parenthesis. B plus C close in parenthesis equals A B plus A C equals A B plus A C. C C math week twenty three. C C math week twenty three. That was the best. Okay, uh, Latin. We remembered, this is the first conjugation, future perfect tense. And the way that we remembered this before is that I was, it was right near deer season. So all of the deer hunters looked towards the future with a lot of excitement. So, and it was like the perfect thing that could happen for their year. So future perfect, cause that's how a lot of deer hunters are. They're like, yay, it's the perfect time of the year. And I'm looking forward to the future. Um, and we're gonna go bow hunting with an arrow to get our deer. So we have an arrow, and I just had an arrow that I let, led the kids around with, and we followed the leader while we said this. So arrow, pull back your arrow. Eris, look for it. Like, is it there? Eret? Or Eris. And then Eret, look up again. Like, maybe it's over there. And then Aramis, my hunting, I would be missing. So my arrow missed. Aramis, so Aramis. Eretus, maybe it's over there. Eretus, Eretus. And then errant, Boom. like I would just give up at this point, errant, because I just kept missing. So that's my grunt, errant. So eh, it goes uh, to happy birthday. Arrow, eris, errant, Aramis, eritus, errant. First conjugation, future perfect tense. Okay, there's our Latin. And like I said, this was a review. So all I did is I had an arrow for us to all remember visually um, and uh, just a toy arrow. And we played follow the leader. The first one held the arrow and we sang the song and went around. Okay, um, we're gonna do geography. So this was the story of all the stands. We have uh, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan, and Tajikistan. So showed all the kids where all that stuff was on the map. And then I told them a story that was the cause of all of Stan's trouble. So, can you see on the map? It's right over here by the Ural Mountains. Comes down there, okay? Really, really close in. So, our story was, I'm here to, t I'm here to tell you about the cause, Kazakhstan, of all of Stan's troubles. While Stan was drinking cocoa from his Keurig, and if you look at, um, Kyrgyzstan, it looks like the little Keurig opener where it has the mouth that you put the, the little um, 
drink filter in and then you close it down so it looks like a keurig so while stan was drinking cocoa from his keurig kyrgyzstan he pushed the radioactive ooze button from uzbekistan you can point to uzbekistan and released it on turkeys and created turkey men turkmenistan taj looked up and he saw the radioactive turkey men and the ooze coming out at him and he went Tajikistan. So, and that's the cause of all of Stan's troubles. So, there's geography for you. I thought it was kind of cute. Uh, yeah, and the ooze, obviously, it's because it kind of looks like it's oozing over Turkmenistan and going towards Tajikistan. Okay, let's do timeline. Age of information and globalization. Um, Watergate, President Nixon resigns. So, there's like, they're hiding things. Watergate, President Nixon resigns, fall of communism in Eastern Europe, European Union formed, apartheid abolished in South Africa, and then September 11th, 2001. So these are obviously the towers that are falling one after the other. And then rising tide of freedom, rising tide of freedom. And I think that is all of our new grammar this week. Sorry, I was a little delayed. So, but one more week left, guys, and then cycle two is done. See you later. Bye.